and it's spring again <laughs> for the day we'll see if it lasts um, we have come out to kind of check on our cute calves and see how they're doing um, we did castrate Apollo last week we'll put a link to that up in the top card um, so we're gonna kind of come out and check on his um, parts and see how they are doing it's been a really fun adventure to go along with these calves um, we have a, oh what's the word we have a uh, playlist of the great calf adventure so we will link to that as well if you're interested in catching up on what we did with these calves and how we um, bottle fed them to get them to where they are today we're hoping to get a proper gate system set up at some point but gosh you just got to do the best you can we've got to get some new straw added to their shack He's not going to let me get too close, is he? Well, at first glance, it just looked like a little bit of skin was hanging down. So I wonder if they've fallen off. Um. He knows. There's a tiny clip of uh, what things are looking like down there. They seem to look okay. They are shriveling up. That must be normal. It's been really neat um, to go on this great calf adventure with these cute bottle calves, the Holstein calves. Um, but the information that we have researched and received from others has been really awesome to share with others. We've had a couple um, subscribers that we have been able to help with a scouring calf that they have had. Um, one person had said they messaged me personally and they had said that um, their calf was scouring and asked for our advice and um, what we had done also had helped them also um, homesteading with the cases they just brought home a beautiful new baby Holstein a couple days old I believe her name is Lily so that is fun you should check their channel out they brought her home um, a few days ago anyway she's had some problems too with her energy and with some scouring and and also the what we have been able to do with our calves has helped theirs so I really fingers crossed I'm hoping that um, Lily's gonna pull through and be okay so we'll be anxiously watching your channel the cases to see how our Lily is doing make your bed out of straw Sam Hey, come spread this around, special. With the help of my cute kids, we have got the uh, shack re-strawed, if that's the right word. Um, these cute calves are out here munching which is awesome because we are starting to wean. We're really, really excited to be done with bottles. Um, it was fun for about a week. <laughs> and then the kids, you know, they get bored, but it's been great responsibility for them. Um, in the mornings, the calves eat before they eat. And um, usually at night too, calves eat before the kids get dinner. So it's been a really cool learning experience for them, for all of us. It's been fun to care for something on a larger scale. So I do know that um, they have to be eating a certain amount of grains and grass and alfalfa before you can fully wean. So we are just starting that process slowly. They are eating, so that's happy. Um, they have plenty of water out here. They also have water inside their shack. So we're really, really pleased with how well this great calf adventure has gone. Make sure to check that out and um, We'll keep going with these beautiful calves. Thanks for coming along on our journey and hopefully we'll see you tomorrow.